Welcome! Before we start, remember that all my videos have complete crazy descriptions and that's where you'll find all the resources I'll be mentioning, credits, information, etc. Now, for those of you who don't know me, I'm the lead writer on Cyrus Dark's blog and have been doing written tutorials for the past three years. Today's a special day as you'll be witnessing my first video tutorial ever. So let's get started. For the next three hours, I'll be showing you how to create audio fades in DaVinci Resolve. Of course, I'm just kidding. <laughs> It'll only take a couple of minutes. This is DaVinci Resolve, and as you can see, I've been uh, editing a video from the YouTube's uh, copyright page. Uh, it's very funny. And uh, I did lots of edits just for fun. As I do this tutorial, you will notice on the um, bottom left, you will see all the keys that I, I do with my keyboards. Um, so this is going to be helpful for some of you. So if I do a shortcut and I go too fast, you will have time to see what's the key I've pressed. So there are two ways to do it. So I'm going to show you both. First, just like your clip, you open the curve editor right here and you place a marker where you want to begin and end uh, your fade. So it's going to be right here. Click once. Click a second time. And then all you've got to do is adjust it like so. And the second way is through the uh, inspector, just like your clip, place your marker, and here you have the same button here, through either it could, could be the panning or the volume, in this case it's volume, so you click once, this is where your fade uh, starts, where it ends, click one more time, and there you have it, that's it, it's that simple, now you have a fade out and a fade in. This Thanks for watching, if you have any questions or comments, please do so. And if uh, you send me an email, I will reply. And who knows, maybe a question will end up being a tutorial video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.